Well, that pudding. Is this videotaping? This needs to go on your brewing blogs for some reason. Oh God, yes it does. Okay. Patch your sausage. Finish off the end. The tip is the most important part, whether we're just talking about kielbasas or sausages. <laughs> just a tip. Just a tip. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah. Work it. Show there me. Show there me what you want. There it is. There we go. Do we need, oh, that's nice. Do we need a toothpick in it? No. Amateurs need toothpicks. Are you an amateur? I'm a professional. Yeah. Okay, now you're just playing with it. Greetings from snowy Wisconsin and happy homebrew Wednesday, my brothers. Um, what do we have here? This is, uh, I'd like to say it's the first pint of, the, uh, of, of my not Moon Man Pale Ale, but in all honesty, it's probably like the 20th pint. Uh, we accidentally got into the keg a little bit uh, this weekend, and uh, seems to be well received by people. So uh, let me let me let you guys know kind of what it uh, smells and tastes like. Um, cheers. The dry hop I I, I got, I, I, I think I kind of nailed it on this beer. Um, it's really a really big, a punchy tropical. Um, kind of orange citrusy um, dry hop, a, little, a lot of aroma. Um, in my head, and I think my head only, there's a little bit of butter somewhere in the aroma of this beer. Um, I tried cutting the crystal back to like crystal 15. Um, I don't think it's fermentation. I really don't. I, I feel like I, I control every second of those poor little yeast lives. Um, when, when they're in that fermentation fridge. So I honestly, I, I can't think this is diacetyl. So um, it's something in my brain, I think, because I'm pretty sure if I bought this beer uh, in a can or a bottle, I would be pretty happy with it. So it's just mental. I'm an idiot. Um, anyway, see what it tastes like. Cheers. The hot flavor is way more subdued than the uh, the aroma would suggest. Um, you definitely get some some of the tropical citra, um, a little bit of malt backbone. Not it's not huge. Um, I think maybe a little more bitterness might might balance it out a little bit better. Um, and I get a little bit of butter flavor, and I think that's all in my own brain. So I might have to scatter a few of these beers around the. Uh, the BrewTuber universe, and uh, just see what other people think, because for me, it's a perfectly drinkable beer. I'm going to enjoy the whole keg of it, um, but I feel like it can be better, and maybe I, maybe we always think our beers can be that little bit better, but um, this one, I, I, I feel like it can be better, so I guess we just have to try again. Um, recipe, I think, is solid. Might up the bitterness a little bit, um, keep the dry hop the same, and maybe uh, whirlpool longer or, or a, a heavier uh, whirlpool uh, or late hop addition, just to just to bump the the hop flavor up a little bit. So, so we shall see. Um, as you can see by the the intro of this video, um, I played with some sausage this weekend. Um, also some some uh, some brisket. I'm a, I'm also a uh, I'm not just a homebrew nerd. I'm also a smoker nerd. So um, I have a smoker of my own that I've built, and uh, and we smoked some stuff on it this weekend. It was pretty pretty decent in the twenties. So it's kind of fun to sit outside in the sun and and sit in lawn chairs around the smoker and drink some beers um, until the sun went behind the clouds and then you froze your ass off for sitting outside. But um, so that's that's what that is. Maybe one of these maybe one of these weeks I will uh I'll give you a little a little taste of what the what the smoker life is like. Um delicious to be sure. So uh otherwise I got a couple other things going on. I was messing with some bottle priming, um and that little one one gallon uh smoked porter recipe. So check this out. Okay, just measuring out some table sugar. Um I'm gonna 
bottle prime, these 12 bottles um, for this smoked porter. Um, I've never bottle primed before. I'm sure there's a better way to do it. I normally, if I do it, I use those card drops or whatever, but I don't have the card drops. So I went on a calculator, figured I'd need, I need like 1.8 grams of sugar per bottle. So I have this little scale that's accurate to like the hundredth of a gram. Well, accurate. It's accurate as a cheap scale is going to be, but I think it'll be pretty close. Um, so I'm basically just going to measure up sugar, chuck it in a funnel, and, and uh, we'll see what happens. I think it should work okay. It's not ideal, but most of what I do is not ideal, so I'll be back. So it really turns out two grams of sugar is not very damn much sugar. It is... Uh, barely anything. So I'm trying to measure this as close to two grams as I can. Um, and then through the funnel and trying to knock it all out and making sure when I put it back on the scale at least it, it drops back to zero. Um, then I figure everything is is as close to uh, there's a lot of water going down a pipe. So that's, that's a little heavy. Then it's at least as close to equal as I'm going to get. It's, this is definitely, I'm glad I'm only doing 12 bottles. This is not a fast way to go for sure, so I don't recommend it. I'm sort of assuming no one really needs to see how to bottle beer, but I'm bottling beer and I'm bored. I don't have anybody to talk to, so you guys can talk to me. Trying to gauge how many bottles I'm gonna get. This is four. I bet I'm only gonna get maybe maybe eight. Eight or ten bottles out of this this gallon, I have a feeling. Okay, so I got eight good bottles out of that uh, that gallon growler or gallon jug, gallon carboy, whatever you wanna call it. Um, this is what I have left. Um, so let's see how smoky it really is. The, the aroma is definitely way, way, way more smoky. Um, I don't think it's obnoxiously smoky, but it's really got a, a good, uh, kind of campfire sort of thing going. Kind of really hides the, the chocolate and stuff from the, uh, the porter itself pretty well. There's a little bit of like, uh, maybe like dark fruit kind of, that just kind of that dark fruit sweetness that comes through a little bit. Hmm. That's going to be interesting, cold and carb. It's definitely smoky. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's definitely... Very campfire, very, uh, and then the, the, the sweetness of the porter really comes in hard at the end. Um, carbonation's going to make it completely different, it always does. So that'll be interesting to see, but it's kind of a cool thing to, uh, to check out. Okay, so that's, that's, that's me for the week. Um, I'm kind of excited this week. Um, I finally get my truck back. My truck has been broken. I, the transmission went out of my poor, my poor old truck. Uh, for, for like three weeks, I haven't been able to drive anywhere. Um, but now I have some motivation. Uh, Tyler from uh, Everty Homebrew has uh, sent me a package of beer uh, nearly all the way across the state. It's, uh, it's about 20 miles from me right now. It's sitting with, uh, with Jake from uh, the Super Brewers channel. Um, they, were, they were together at the, uh, the Fond du Lac Homebrewers Fest um, over in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, which is it's on the other side of the state from me. Um, but... Got some goodies from Tyler, so got to find a way to get to Menominee and uh, get Jake a couple beers for being my for being my mule, and uh, and then we'll see if I can get some stuff in the mail over to over to Tyler or uh, or we'll see. So uh, pretty excited about that. Um, I've only been doing the BrewTuber thing for a few months, and and uh, this is quite a, quite a few other people's beer I've gotten to drink already. So pretty fun stuff. Um, anyway. Cheers, everybody. Hope everybody's got a great week going. Um, 
brew some beer. I need to brew some beer. I have grain. I need to brew some beer. Uh, I don't like it when my poor little fermentation fridge sits empty with the lid up and, and all the lights off. It's, it's, it's a lot better when I know there's something happening in there. So, uh, cheers, kids. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. It actually gets better. The more you drink of it, that could be in my brain it gets better or in the glass it gets better. I don't really care which. Uh, cheers, kids. Yandu.